a real pastor. Look at she. She said, what, girl? What's up, Sandra family, man? I am the pastor of the movement you just logged on to call Unity Church Charlotte and the Car Chronicles movement. That's right. Someone said, come on with it. Come on. Kelly Horton said, what's going on? What's up? Whip, 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 Bishop Whipple's on here. Good morning. How you doing? God bless you all. I want to say I thank God for you, for every click, for every tag, for every share. I thank you so much for showing this world that God indeed still cares. I want to say hello, 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 hello. Just look at Talia. What's up, SOP, Natalie? What's going on? How you doing? It's good to see you, Talia. I want to say hello and good morning to you all. I'm so excited to see you. I want to say to Apostle Fred D. Gooden the third. he brought that word on Sunday. Ah! I thank God because God has really moved through the atmosphere. I thank God for his word through the manservant. And so we are honored to serve you. Yes, we, he and I are honored to serve you. Thank God for you all. Didi, what's going on, Didi Ward? I want to say to all of you who are internationally part of the movement, I see Shelly Ann Dixon from Jamaica. I want to say hello to you all over the world. Every click, tag, and share. Your little finger is showing this world that God does care. God bless you. I want to give you this beat. This is for all of you, everybody, my faithful followers and my new ones. I want to say we're always here at 730. Watch the numbers. You cannot be duped by the imitators if you just watch the numbers because we're on here right now. It's 1,500 people under the sound of my voice. My little beep beeps, I miss you guys being in the car. I want to say I thank God for you. I need my intercessors to be on deck this morning. I am getting ready to give you the word of the Lord. And someone says, I needed that. Alicia Hickerson said, I needed that. I want to say again, happy Father's Day to all of you. Apostle Fred D. Gooden's birthday is Friday. So we're all excited. Corey Page's boy just went up the timeline. I want to say thank you all to my assistant pastor. I want to say publicly, Michelle, I'm sorry because I was being just a little bit crass to Michelle yesterday because I was underneath a lot of pressure. And so I've got a lot of deadlines and COVID is kind of allowing us to do some things, but not all things. And so I'm just frazzled. I got a lot going on and I kind of was snippy and mean. And I'm sorry about that, Shelly. You know, I love you. To Uncle Eddie, to each and every one of you, I want to say thank God for you. Look at look about. I love you too. Shmoo, 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 shmoo. That's Apostle Fred going up the timeline. God bless you all. Let's go to the Word of God. It is time for the Word of God. I want to say, please come out this Sunday. Please be at Bible study. Bible study is very imperative for you. Please come out Wednesday. Get, get your mask and come on out. It's our Hallelujah Hump Day. We have a special guest speaker this uh, Wednesday. So please come out Sunday. It is Mystery Sunday. We have a very, very, very special guest coming. And I want you to get your mask and let's work. Worship. Come to 2818 Queen City Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina. I want you to know that the doors of the church is open. Please get there because we have to take your temperature. You have to sign your waiver and we're doing things that we have to do to keep you all safe. Yes, we have professional disinfectors in the building. If you don't have a mask, the church has invested in keeping you safe and we will hand a mask to you. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Someone said, I'm sick of COVID. Speak out. God, ain't that right? Let's go to the word of God. Go with me. I want to go to Genesis. Can you go to Genesis? Genesis seven while you are doing that i want to read something to you now i've got to go into the vein what's up Corey? he said mj i gotta go into the vein and i need my intercessors on deck um we understand that covid is still predicated around this earth but i gotta go into a vein if you'd allow me for a moment while you are going to genesis 7 that prophetic number seven one through seven because this is a prophetic word and it's an end time word i have to read something to you covid 19 George Floyd, Bubba Wallace, NASCAR drivers, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, Rashad Brooks, Sandra Bland, and being added to the repertoire, Juneteenth celebration in Charlotte Sunday night. Keisha Daniels, you got it. I want to say with everyone who is looking at me now, I need you to click tag and share. Because I am going to share something with you. I want you to get ready. Embrace yourself and go with me to Genesis. Can we do that? Go with me to Genesis 7. I need to read something to you. Because it is time for us to be on guard. The times that we're living in are perilous times. It's times where we don't know what is going on. And most of us, we cannot wait. We cannot wait. God bless you. Uh, we can't wait for the 2021 to hit us. Not... Not only for she favor 2021, but we can't wait for this year to leave because 2020 has brought misery. 
2020 has taken away lives of people that we love, whether we find them sick, pre-existing or not because of this pandemic. We found ourselves underneath the scrutiny of a uh, authority that does not understand or nor does he care for the people of color. It's true. And so what's happening is now is that something has been spewed into the nation that God himself is not pleased with because of one individual, the people's heart. That means that we can put it on the White House and the government, but how about your own house? How about the people of God that were supposed to represent the man of God and not representing at all? Let's read. The Lord said unto Noah, he said, what I want you to do, Noah, is I need you to go into the ark. You and your entire family, I want you to go into the ark. He said, because I have found you righteous in this generation. I'm going to say this again because most of you don't understand what God is saying. He said, even in that time, Noah has found himself and his family. God said, y'all are righteous and the righteous run into that and they are safe. Now you get it? See, you've got to understand the scripture and the content and what it was read, read and read it. But I need you to get it. It said the righteous run into it and they are safe. The righteous man of God, Noah and his whole family. In that generation, they were righteous. In that generation. So it means that no matter what generation is evil, there's some righteous individuals there. Delphi, Eve, honey, I miss you. He said, take you several pairs of animal of every kind. Clean ones. He said, the male is the mate. One pair of each kind of unclean animal or not. He said, I want you to take them and it's me. And also seven, that is a very prophetic number. It's the number of completion. Hear me. It says, take every one of them, seven of them of every kind in the pairs, every seven. He says, inside, he said, even the birds, the male and the female for procreation purposes. He said, I want you to keep every kind of specimen throughout the earth, 2,000 people, seven days from now, what I am going to do is I'm going to send devastation. I'm going to send a rain upon the earth. And for 40 days and for 40 nights, Michelle, that number for me is 47. I'm not stupid. I know the vein in which I speak. 47, that's for me, Michelle. Those that you want to follow, do that. It says for 40 days and 40 nights, what I am going to do, God is saying, I'm going to wipe from the face of the earth every living creature that he made. Listen to me. Esther, God bless you. Esther Six Schmidt is watching. He said, every living creature that I have made, I'm going to wipe it off the face of the earth. And Noah did. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him to do. He did it. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters came. Can you imagine God giving you something to do? And you think it's going to happen right now. But God said, this man heard the voice of the Lord and did not allow time to disrupt the promise of God. He did not allow his circumstances. He did not get impatient. He did not curse God for taking too long. He did not question God. He did what he was told. And the Bible said that 600 years old, the floodwaters came on the earth. See, most people are angry at God because he, listen to me, because they don't think that he's coming. Hold on, small brat. He coming. He just ain't going to come when you want him to. He going to be right on time. The mothers of old would agree with me. And Noah and his sons and his wife, and they were all entering inside of the ark and they escaped the waters and the flood. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. If you allow me for a period of time to tell 2,200 people who are under the sound of the, my voice. And some shall be saved. 
I'm going to say this because most people don't understand Terry Taylor. And some shall be saved. Alfred Phillips, I am honored. She says, I'm following you, Pastor. I'm saying, listen to me. I need to read something else to you because you guys don't understand. Uh, just flip over really quickly to Genesis. Uh, really quickly. Just flip over to Genesis 5 and go down to 5. The Lord saw the great wickedness among the human race. And because of this falling on the earth, and because everyone was evil, the word of the Lord is saying this, and every inclination of thought of the human's heart was evil at that time. Listen to what the word of the Lord said. At that time, listen to me, at that time, the people's heart inclined itself to evil, 2,000 Georgia people. And the Lord, the God of love, the God of peace, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, regretted he even made human beings on the earth. And the heart of the man of God was deeply troubled. That's deep. See, it kills me because theologians try to make things deep, but God is a very simple God, but powerful in his might. It simply says here that God looked upon the evilness of the man's heart, and it bothered him that he even made him. Now, as I begin to study this, I said, now, God, you said you know the beginning and the end of the thing. But God gave us something, and most people don't understand what he did. Hmm? Gloria Nielsen, what he did is he gave us free will. He gave us free will because he says, I'm going to put something in man mm -hmm, and I'm going to allow him to make a choice. Uh -huh. Which God do you choose to serve? Huh? He said, I'm going to allow him to see his grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. And God said, now is that time mm -hmm, where the heart of man has grown wicked. Mm -hmm. It takes a very wicked heart mm -hmm, to get themselves up to do damage to people of color. God, it takes a very heart of evil hmm, to stand up and say, I'm going to ruin somebody's day today. Huh? It takes a very evil heart huh, to go in and take an innocent life of a person, huh? ah, no matter what color they are. Huh? But since we are here, allow me to say this. Huh? I'm going to say some names and you think about this. Huh? I'm going to say that Breonna Taylor, God, huh? I'm going to say that what evil individual huh, will go into a NASCAR car huh, with a secure place in time? and hang a noose in the neck. Gosh, what kind of world have we resorted ourselves to? Please don't laugh because I've got to give you what thus said the Lord. And these happen to be bothering me. I want to know what kind of man's heart, women too, that can be so evil to come against people of God, getting themselves together to celebrate Juneteenth, one of the monumental historical days in time of the black people's life. What kind of individual um, would shoot rounds into a crowd in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Sunday night? What type of individual will cover up mm -hmm, the evil heart of a president uh, and say that this is the way it's supposed to be? God, I pray for our possibly Hear me, you don't like it, but God is saying, and some shall be saved, God. I'm, I begin to say to God now, hear me. I'm, I understand that life has to happen. I get it. I, but I don't understand, God says, it's not for you to lean to thine own understanding. He said, and some shall be saved. Now, as I begin to study this word this morning, uh, the Holy Spirit said to tell you, um, yes, 2,500 folks, uh, under the sound of my voice, uh, in this evil time, some shall be saved. Uh, I've got to say this because what he did, uh, he took me to the word of God here with Noah. Uh, he said, what I want Noah to do uh, is realize that I'm coming back. Uh, I am coming back with a church, uh, a little Shia, and I'm looking for one without a spot, no a wrinkle. Hear me. Uh, there is no perfect church. Uh, and if you're looking for a perfect church, I suggest you stay home at Bedside Baptist and watch one online. Uh, hear me. 
me. Uh, Sometimes you just can't deal with the people. I get it. Uh, oh, God. Uh, understand that God told me this morning. He said, uh, this world is wicked and cold. And I am looking at my footstool. Because most of you don't understand that God said that the earth is my footstool. Uh, it's the ground that the enemy dwells on uh, to wreak havoc and damage. Uh, we are living in the last days. Now, listen to me. Come closer. Uh, that sky is going to crack. Ah, uh, uh, the moon going to turn to blood. Uh, and some God said shall be saved and go up with the first trumpet sound. I'm sorry, your churches took the rapture out when you reach church. Dare not do that because God says, please don't allow God, the fascists of man to move what God is about to do. Hear me, the word of the Lord began to speak to me, Apostle Fred. And God said, and some shall be saved. Folks don't like this message, Dr. Tuesday. But God said, wake up and tell them, and some shall be saved. Hear me, if you don't believe me, read the scripture with Noah, huh? because God said, what I want you to do, Noah, is obey me. Huh? Watch this. Huh? Some of you, under the sound of my voice, huh? God told you what to do huh? to save your family. God told you huh? what to do, but uh, God, huh? it does not seem like it's working, huh? because the son that I'm praying for huh? is running amok. Hear me? Huh? This world is so cold. It's, it's cold. Josh is cold, but God said, huh? even with the world being freeze and frigid, huh? being isolated at this time, huh? oh God, huh? cutting the necks of people of God, huh? that don't mean him no harm, we just want you to get better, God said, and some shall be saved, God said, fire is falling, hear me, huh? 2,500 folks under the sound of my voice, now this is what I need you to do, huh? Noah, I need you to build an ark, huh? no matter how crazy it sounds, huh? in this season, obey God, huh? what I want you to do is please huh? build an ark, now watch this, huh? how is a man huh? going to craft an ark huh? from gopher wood, watch this, huh? all of my beautiful crews go and folks, uh, hear me, uh, it was bigger than any Norwegian clues. Uh, the Bible says that it was 300 cubic feet long, uh, 50 cubits wide, uh, and 30 cubits high. Uh, you must be crazy out of your mind uh, to build something so charismatic uh, and tell me that God don't destroy the earth. Uh, yes, uh, and some shall be saved. Uh, hello, um, listen to me, 2,600 folks, under the sound of my voice. Uh, doing this season, y'all better obey God, uh, and some shall be saved. Uh, it may be the very thing that God tells tells you uh, to save your family's life. Uh, it may be the very thing that looks crazy uh, that God tells you to do uh, and some shall be saved. Now watch this. Uh, you've got to understand something. Come a little closer. Uh, to tag and share. Uh, you've got to understand and some shall be saved. Uh, what do you mean woman of God? Uh, Apostle Fred's wife. Yes, that's me. Uh, hear me. Uh, you've got to understand something uh, that in this season God, uh, he's saying uh, and some shall be saved uh, because I'm going to give them uh, the instruction they need uh, to save their life, and so shall the family be saved. Watch this. Now, I need you to come a little closer. Watch me, tag and share, because most of you don't even understand. God told you to do something. He told you for a reason to do it, but somebody ain't listening to the most high God. He said, now Noah, you going to look kind of crazy in this season, but obey God. I'm going to call everything you need to you if you just Hear me, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then they shall hear from heaven. Hello, happy Father's Day again, Dad. Hear me, the word of the Lord came to Noah and said, I want you to build an ark. Can you imagine how crazy he looked? Now watch this. The people scoffed him. The people laughed at him. You gonna go through seasons where folks gonna laugh at you. They gonna think you're crazy, man. They're going to say, God told you to do what? Huh? But you look at them and say, huh? God said to do it and some shall be saved. Huh? Those of my house, huh? hear me. Huh? I don't care how crazy it looks huh? and how crazy you look to somebody. Huh? God said in this season, huh? when I give you instruction, huh? I'm not just going to give you the vision. Huh? Provision shall follow. Huh? He said, no, I want you huh? to look crazy huh? just for a season. Huh? Why would he say that? Huh? He said it because huh? in order for me to give you double for your shame, huh? you got to look embarrassed sometimes. Uh, it's a choice uh, when you're connected to God. Uh, I look a little crazy in this car, don't it? <laughs> Joke's on you, Jack. Hear me. Uh, I want you to understand when God says uh, to do something during the time of calamity, uh, it's best you move. Uh, watch this. Uh, let me blow your mind because you're on my page. Uh, but let's do, hold on now. Wait a minute. Uh, go on and click tag and share. Uh, I'm about to blow your mind.
and give somebody a oops revelation. Uh, because most of you don't understand. Huh? When times like this, uh, oh God, uh, where the mothers of old, oh, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. I need the mothers of old to agree with me. Huh? In times like these, we need a savior. Come on, Josh, come on. Huh? In times like these, uh, hear me. Huh? I don't need no friends but Jesus and Fred and my kids, uh, Michelle and Eddie too. Hear me. Huh? You got to understand, in times like these, uh, you need something. Huh? Because times are perilous uh, in the sky about the crack. Uh, hear me. Huh? In times like these, uh, it seems like it's chaotic. Huh? In times like these, uh, the heart of man is cold. Huh? In times like these, uh, Hank Shaw is evil. Huh? In times like these, uh, you don't know what to do. Huh? In times like these, uh, you ain't got nothing. Huh? Nobody in you can't figure this thing out. Huh? But in times like these, huh? this is when God speaks. Huh? He speaks because huh? he's giving you a way out. Huh? He's giving you a reason huh? why he wants you to do it. Huh? And manifested evidence shall follow him. Noah, in times like these, build an ark. What? These folks is evil. Huh? These folks, hold on, they done going mad. <laughs> yeah, and th these people have lost their mind. Huh? You, you, you gonna come and shoot up a bunch of folks in June, kid? Hey, God, huh? these folks is mad. Huh? It, it, the hearts of man is showing now. Huh? Huh? Because the ego, huh? the evil of man is speaking. Huh? Is speaking because God said, huh? in times like these, huh? prophetically, I'm going to reveal. Huh? Hear me, huh? the word of the Lord came to me. Huh? He said, in times like like these, uh, it's important that you hear me uh, because I'm speaking. Uh, build an ark in the middle of chaos. Uh, watch this. Uh, let me blow your mind. Uh, you're going to deliver the people from Egypt. What? Uh, yes. Uh, in times like these, uh, take a your lamb blemish uh, and put it over the door place. Wait a minute, God. Uh, you mean to tell me uh, the plagues is starting? Look at she. You mean to tell me uh, that the man is dying? Uh, he said, yes. Look at she. But what I'm going to do in the middle of chaos, uh, I'm going to give you instruction. Hear me. Uh, God gives instructions uh, in the middle of chaos, uh, and some shall be saved. Uh, Y'all better listen. Uh, hear me. Uh, you mean to tell me uh, within the middle of all of this chaos, uh, you want us to kill a lamb? Uh, this don't make no sense, God. Uh, watch it. Uh, in chaos, uh, God never makes sense uh, because he only knows how to get you uh, 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 through the crevices of life. Uh, untouched and saved. Hear me. Um, and some shall be saved. Uh, and so listen to me. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah. Hold on. Don't go away. Uh, I love everybody. Listen to me. Uh, it's God's job the job, not mine. Uh, I get the fish. Uh, I present them to God uh, and he cleans them up. Hear me. Um, uh, click, tag, and share. It's going to get a little bit deeper. Watch me. Um, you mean to tell me uh, that you send Lot uh, to a debaucherous place. Uh, Hold on, now wait a minute. Don't get on the gaze back. Hold on, because they all was jacked up. It kills me. See, y'all don't understand. Folks always kicking in the gay folks back. But give the pastor a pass. They got a wife, a mistress, and a girlfriend. You give the pastor a pass, and he got the mistress pregnant in the church. Hold on now. I read the word of God, and if you read it too, it said we all sin and fell short of the glory of God. So allow me to say it this way. He went to a place where everybody was falling short of the glory of God. Um, he went to this place and God said, um, and some shall be saved. Uh, hear me. Um, God's grace and mercy is so sufficient. Uh, it ain't got no time for you judgmental folks. Uh, hear me. Uh, he said, what I'm going to do is send you there um, and I need you to find me at least uh, five of them righteous. Uh, hear me. Um, he said, now what I want to do, watch this. Uh, he said, I'm going to take my family out of here uh, because my family, uh, at least let them be saved uh, and some shall be saved. Uh, hear me. Uh, the word of the Lord came to me. Uh, he said, I will give folks a chance uh, to be saved. He says, I'm going to give uh, people a chance uh, to come back to me. Hear me. Uh, all backslider, God said, uh, I'm married to you uh, and you can't go nowhere. Uh, God loves you. Uh, hear me. Uh, even if your family don't like you. Hear me. Uh, the word of the Lord came to me. Uh, he said, now pay attention, woman of God. Uh, he said, pay attention because what I did, uh, I've given several opportunities. Uh, 2000, see that prophetic number right there? Seven. I know the vein I speak. And it's holding at seven. Watch this. The word of the Lord said, I give people a chance to get saved and right. Oh God, Romans 10 is speaking. Word of the Lord is saying, the blood on the door place. He said it was an act of servitude, of obedience. Watch this. He said, Sodom and Gomorrah, there was an act of servitude and obedience. Oh God, Romans 10 says, I desire that no man be lost. And God 
God is seeing him during this evil time. He wishes that no man be lost. He said, and some shall be saved. During an act of calamity, God gives divine instructions to watch and see who go obey. He said, in this season, with all that's going on in the earth, he said, I am watching to see who shall be saved. With a righteous cry out, and they shall be saved. Read Romans 10. It says, I desire that no man be lost, but all be saved. God said, and during this time, some shall be saved. We ain't got no choice, sure, but keep on praying. The word of the Lord that I read said 2,900 folks tagging and sharing it says, Saints don't stop praying. We don't know what to do, but we know where to go. We know to get on bending knees and say, God reveal it. God is about to reveal some stuff, and it's going to hurt some of you, but that's a good thing. I'm cakes and pies happy, because God told me years ago, Michelle, he told me this. Listen to me. Click tag and share. I want to show you something. Don't steal my stuff. Can you give me a little credit and put a hashtag CCMUCC, please? The word of the Lord came to me when he began to teach me about love. That's why now I was able to identify it when it came. Most of you won't love, but you don't know how to identify it. Most of the time because you don't love yourself. Most of the time because you haven't forgiven yourself. But God took me to a place and he showed me love. He said, I'm going to save you now from this area in your life that seems to be trouble. Watch this. God began to teach me about love. He he said, now what I've got to do uh, is because you call on me, uh, I've got to break your heart uh, to save your life. Uh, most people want to be saved, uh, but they don't want to be broken. Uh, this world want to be saved, uh, but it doesn't want to be broken. Good. Uh, what do you mean, woman of God? Uh, it means uh, in order for the Lord in heaven uh, to answer you, uh, he's got to take some things away. Uh, oh God, uh, he's got to save your life uh, by breaking your heart. Uh, hear me, uh, have you ever had a circumstance? circumstance where something happened to you and you said, Jesus, my heart is just breaking God. Have you ever seen the world in the calamity state that it's in and say, what the hell is going on? Did I say, yeah, I did, Rufus, I did. No kidding. Have you ever looked around and said, what the hell is going on here? How do you pick a noose and stick it in a black man's car? How do you kill somebody in broad daylight? How do you take a... What? How do, what's going on, God? God said that the very world that I created is breaking my heart. He said, but some shall be saved. The righteous man that runs into me shall be saved now. What I've got to do now, I've got to allow the world that hurt me to feel who I am. He said, I am God and you shall have no other. And those that run into me now in the season, they shall be saved. God, there is counsel. But God said in the presence of counsel, God, wisdom shall dwell there. Listen to me. Could tag and share. Someone said, come on now. This is no time for you to run the opposite way. Someone said, the mic just dropped. Shana Mahoney, thank you. There is no time for you to run the opposite way because it's a little bit hard. He said, in order for you to see the provider, you've got to be in a position for provision. He said, in order for you to see the God that I just said run into, you've got to go to a place of unsafety to find safety. And God God is saying, uh, everything that the enemy does, uh, I combat it with good and mercy shall follow uh, all the days of their life. Uh, the world is going to do what it does, uh, but I'm going to do what I do uh, as God. Uh, and God said in some shall be safe. May I allow you. Hear me. You are right, Chattel. I cannot say your name. She said the Bible also speaks of false prophets. But if you understand the scripture, you are absolutely right. The Bible said you will know them by their fruit that they bear. So whatever prophet that you're listening to, I hope that you watch the fruit because the fruit bears witness that there is a real prophet. Watch my fruit. Hear me. The word of the Lord is speaking around the world and is saying she's right, that many false prophets are going to come. Watch their fruit. Watch their fruit. And 
the fruit bears witness. Uh, hear me. Uh, the word of the Lord said uh, that in the last day uh, I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh. Uh, your sons and your daughters uh, shall prophesy, dream dreams, and have visions. Uh, the word of the Lord broke me hard down. Uh, hear me, son. Uh, when God said to me, uh, why do you think there is such a pandemic of marijuana? Uh, I said, now God, you got to be kidding here. Uh, he says, yes. Uh, he said, the pandemic of marijuana, uh, it's a craze. Uh, every millennial happens to be high. Yeah, I said, uh, uh, this is true. Uh, you got one in your house. Uh, I got one in my house. And we all got somebody. And um, it, it, it blew my mind, Goldie. Uh, because God said, uh, see, I'm trying to give sons uh, and daughters visions. Uh, and I'm trying to go and give them dreams. Uh, and I'm prophetically speaking. Uh, but the enemy says, uh, let them get high so they don't know the difference. Uh, and God said, hear me. Uh, you don't think I see what's happening uh, in the earth? He said, I am speaking in the enemy is doing his job. He's walking up and down the earth seeking whom he shall devour. I said, now God, this is deep. He said, see, the saints is sleeping. The enemy has not slacked up. He took a third of the heavens with him. Numerically, we really don't know what it is. And he ain't slack up since. It's us, the powerful people of God, that seem to be fighting about stuff. It's us, Rashawn Daniels, the people of God, that ain't watching the fruit of the Spirit. It's the People of God huh, that's fighting among ourselves, huh, being jealous, coming out here with a little hate, a little shade. It's okay, I can handle it. I'm built for it. Right, fair? We are. Huh, huh, God, huh, it's the people of God huh, that's being so judgmental huh, until they don't know real discipleship. And God said, but yet the righteous ones shall be saved. Righteous people got fruit. Huh, righteous fruit. Right fruit, might I add. It's juicy, it's big, it's charismatic, and people know them because God says you shall know the righteous by the fruit. Stacy Martin said, preach, Pastor. God said, this world is evil. He said it, he said, hear me. He said, this world's heart is cold. <laughs> Somebody just went up the town and she said, I'm a seed for the salvation of my family. Hear me. The word of the Lord said, your family is going to be saved. Your family is watching you. <laughs> They're watching how you handle every pandemic and every problem and every situation. They're watching you. And God says, no one, no matter what it was, he did not deny God. No matter what it was, thank you, Mika, he did not stop his assignment because he looked crazy. <laughs> No one, no matter how crazy people looked and mocked and scoffed him, when the waters begin to come, they begin to knock on the ox door and say, let us in. And God is saying, now that the harvest is right, where are the laborers? Because God said, there's going to become a time where you are going to say, God, now let me in. I've got to go old school for a moment and there's going to be time where they take away our Bibles. This very book right here, I've got to go in and tell you that that moon that is shining so bright that most of you are walking among the moonlight. Uh-huh. Access ties on, sings that song, Moonlight. That's my son's favorite song. God said it's going to turn to blood. All the signs and wonders of the Antichrist y'all waiting for? Well, shame on you. It's already in the earth. It is already in the earth. I don't have time for stupidity. I don't have time to fight. I don't have time for it because the time is winding up. The enemy knows that there is going to be a place that he is going to be shackled and bound. And he says, I'm going to take everybody that I can. See, his unfairness is speaking. The unfairness that speaks from this man, the enemy, is that I can't go to the most high. And so neither should you. See, I'm not going to let nobody punk me of my salvation. I like to say to the backslider, go back to your first love. If you have never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, do it today. Say, Father God, I am a sinner. Come into my life. Forgive me of all of my sins. I believe you died on the cross. And rose again on the third day. Come into my life and save me. The word of the Lord says that right then and there you have been saved. I will be your church. But I want you to understand that these are the last days. 
right here. The heart of man is so wicked. The heart of man is evil. God is revealing the heart of a man. I am going to say this. I experienced racism myself this weekend. Fred and I went into the store and there was a white lady. I have to say it. This is my truth. She had a mask on and I, I think I had my mask in my hand and I noticed that the store owner, he really didn't have them around. I walked past and she jumped and she said, I don't speak to anybody. I don't want anyone near me that doesn't have a mask. And I said, ma'am, whether you have a mask on or not, I really don't need you near me. And she looked at me and she pulled herself. And then a white man of her same color with no mask came all up in her face and begin to speak to her and her husband. And then Apostle Fred said, well, he don't have a mask on. And she said, right. And so me, just a little bit petty, I said to her, ma'am, I understand it's my color. Then I walk by her and I just begin to cough because I have a right. I begin to cough. <coughs> and ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm just being a little shady. Because I could not believe that she just violently, verbally attacked me because I walked past her. See, the heart of the evil man is speaking right now. And then I looked back at her and I said, you know what, ma'am? God bless you. You have a wonderful day. See, what's happening now is just like it was. The heart of evil man is speaking. It's being revealed. See, one thing about a leader, you have to be very careful because the heart of the leader speaks. It gives a right to people to feel the same way they feel, to feel like they have a right to be that way. It's an evil individual that thinks that it's right to have people bound and shackled for a human being. It's an evil-hearted individual to take people of color and say that they're animals and treat them that way. 3,000 people under the sound of my voice, the heart of mankind is speaking. And God says, do they really know that that is not the heart of God? These are perilous, wicked times. I am praying for Charlotte. I'm praying for whoever fired those rounds of bullets and slaughtered those innocent lives that came together for a Juneteenth celebration. The governor and the mayor here says that they don't have one witness. I know God can smoke it out of a hole. A witness is going to come forth prophetically. I know this. And they shall bring those cowards to justice. And you have a bunch of people celebrating the most monumental time of African Americans' life. And spray a bunch of people because of color. Oh, come on now. It was racial. We know that. Why would you come to a Juneteenth celebration where every black person will honor it because of our heritage? The heart of man is speaking. The best thing that we could do is open the door of a heart and let God come in. Do what he tells you to do. Hear me. He speaks in these times and some shall be saved. My 47, I'm not stupid. It's for not me. It's for my whole family. Because my daughter is out there, my son is out there, my husband and my children and my family. From Jacksonville to Charlotte to New York. And wherever you are, hear me. Saints don't stop praying. Because some, if not all, shall be saved. I am honored to serve as your servant girl. Bless you.